Hi friends, our YouTube channel is Vidya Peetam, Joy of Learning. Friends, the world is slowly getting transition from ordinary to digital forum. Even education also becoming online mode of learning. So, let us begin with the new mode of technology as online and quickly enter into the topic of electromagnetic theory. Hi, I am Nageshwari, Assistant Professor, Department of Tripoli. Now, I am going to cover the subject called as Electromagnetic Theory. So, before going to, before enter into the topic, first of all, we, we should know what are the objectives of this subject. So objectives plays an important role for each and every subject. Now, let us start the objectives of electromagnetic theory. First objective is to introduce the basic mathematical concepts related to electromagnetic vector fields. Yes, so electromagnetic theory is combined together the mathematical concept as well as the physics, science concept, etc. in terms of a vector fields. So, the, the first and foremost objective is to introduce the basic mathematical concepts related to electromagnetic fields. Yes, here comes the second objective. The second objective is to impart knowledge on the concepts of electrostatic fields, electric potential, L energy density and their applications. That means here the electric field and as well as the magnetic field combined together called as the entire subject electromagnetic theory. Yes, we are going to study about electrostatic fields and as well as the magnetostatic fields. Apart from these, we are going to study about the Maxwell's equation. Yes, in EMF, the Maxwell's equation plays an important role. That means electromagnetic waves. So, the basic concept of electromagnetic waves related to the Maxwell's equation only. So, that is why Maxwell's equation plays an important role before beginning the electromagnetic waves. And finally, we are going to see the electromagnetic waves and as well as the characteristics and the parameters of electromagnetic waves we are going to see as a final topic. So, these are all the different objectives of this electromagnetic theory subject. So, finally, so what are the outcomes? So, you, uh, we are... Now we are discussing about the objectives. Now next we will see what are the final outcomes of uh, this subject. After subject, after learning this subject, now what is the final outcomes? Yes, that we should know because for each and every uh, learning, for each and every topic of learning, so we should know what is the main objective and we should know what are the main outcomes of the each and particular subject. Now, the outcomes, yes, these are all the outcomes. That means, so we can able to understand the basic mathematical concepts that related to electromagnetic fields. Yeah, of course, we can ability to understand the basic concept of electrostatic fields, electric potential and as well as the magnetostatic fields and, and its potential and its applications. All these things we are going to learn. And yeah, next, as I told you already, uh, the main objective is to learn the Maxwell's equation. Yes, so finally, after this subject, the outcome is we would know what is Maxwell's equation and how to apply that Maxwell's equation in electromagnetic waves. Yes, so now, let me start about our subject. Let us go to our subject. Now, 
so before going to the subject we should know the textbooks also what all the textbooks we can uh, refer because uh, we should not forget the textbooks right okay so the textbooks which we can refer these subjects are so matthew sadiku principles of electromagnetics william hayt engineering electromagnetics and cross and flesh electromagnetics with applications and you have a lot more uh, textbooks called as professor gangadharan principles of electromagnetics so like that we can have we have we are having plenty of textbooks but these are all the few textbooks which we can refer and it is very easy only yes now let us begin our journey of electromagnetic theory now so i'll show you the detailed syllabus of uh, what is there in this electromagnetic theory yeah the first unit covers the electrostatics one actually this electrostatics is divided into two parts okay the first part is nothing but so what are the different coordinate systems and what is meant by electric field intensity and its application that is in the first part okay and now the second part is what is electric potential and what is the dielectric polarization dielectric strength and applications yes capacitance is the application of electrostatics so this electrostatic divided into two splitted into two as unit 1 and unit 2 now if you see the third unit and it belongs to magnetostatics so in this magnetostatics uh, i am not say, i will not say all the topics uh, just i will uh, say the few points about this topic that is uh, what is meant by by observers la ampere circuit la and what are the different applications and etc like uh, uh, inductance okay uh, it is one of the application of magnetostatic so like this we were going to see in the magnetostatic unit and now the finally the fourth unit so the fourth unit covers electrodynamic fields that means the fourth unit covers electrodynamic fields that means we are going to study the maxwell's equation we are going to study the what this maxwell's equation and what are the different type of maxwell's equation the main important part we are going to study in this electrodynamic fields okay so as the name suggests it is a dynamic field so before unit 1 2 3 it is a static field now unit 4 and unit 5 is a electrodynamic field the field is a dynamic and now the fifth unit comes the electromagnetic waves that means wave propagation wave parameters etc etc we are going to see in this uh, fifth unit so this is this or the a uh, different uh, contents related to the subject electromagnetic theory yes let's start with the first journey of electromagnetic theory unit 1 that is electrostatics 1 now what are electromagnetic waves yes so we should know before going to uh, the topic first of all we should know what are electromagnetic waves the electromagnetic fields are present everywhere in our environment but are invisible to the human eye right the electromagnetic spectrum encompasses both natural and human made sources so this electromagnetic nothing but it is characteristics of combine together both electric and as well as the magnetic field yes so that is waves in space that means all the forms of electromagnetic radiation can tra travel through empty space but some waves like sound waves need some kind of material like air or water in which to move so electromagnetic waves transport energy through empty space stored in the propagating electric and magnetic fields also 
so now let us see the electric and as well as the magnetic field along the direction of the propagation if you see this is nothing but the propagation of direction and if you see this red color line this red color line is nothing but the electric field and this blue color line is called as a magnetic field okay so that means so what this diagram is referring is nothing but the propagation direction that means this direction okay the propagation direction is perpendicular to both e and b that is the propagation of direction is perpendicular to both electric field and as well as the magnetic field and is given by right hand rule 2 so that is why this em waves are called as transverse waves okay i repeat that is why this em waves are called as the transverse waves why because why the name is called as transverse waves because because the direction is perpendicular to both electric field and as well as the magnetic field also one of the important characteristic is this one that is they are transverse waves that is one important uh, characteristic and other important characteristic is electromagnetic waves transport energy through empty space stored in the propagating electric and magnetic fields these are all the two important main characteristics of the electromagnetic waves and as well as another important characteristic is em radiation travels at a speed of light in a vacuum as you all know what is the speed of light that is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second now comes the sources and effects of electromagnetic fields now viewers what do you think of what are the different sources of electromagnetic fields yes that is you see here of course these are all the sources of electromagnetic fields now you see the mobile network the mobile network it is an invisible uh, form of em fields only and if you see the television and if you see the satellite okay all these the, the picture shows the sources of electromagnetic fields so by using this picture so now we can able to understand the what are the sources of electromagnetic fields yes another important source is nothing but sunlight yes sunlight so by using these two pictures so we can conclude that there are two important sources one is nothing but the natural source and another one is nothing but the human made source right yes of course natural source the, the important two sources are natural source and man made source that means human made source so what is meant by natural source is nothing but electric fields are produced by the local build up of electric charges in the atmosphere associated with thunderstorms right okay that is one of the natural source and other natural source is nothing but earth magnetic field causes a compass needle to orient in a north south direction and is used by birds and fish for navigation that is also a form of a natural sources now what are the human made sources you can see yes the human made source is nothing but these are all the examples right rays x rays gamma rays and what are all the rays different ray, different kinds of rays right radio tv mobile phones so nothing but a human made source yes yes so these are all the human made source so i conclude the point my point whatever i said uh, i conclude my point that is most of the em waves in earth's environment come from the sun the sun's high temperature allows it to give off countless electromagnetic waves 
Stars also give off EM waves, but they are so far away we don't feel them. Of course, technology. Technology is also a source of EM waves. There are a large number of EM waves from technology that we have such, a, such as microwaves, radio waves, radar and cell phones. So, these are all the sources and effects of electromagnetic fields. Now, let us see the entire electromagnetic spectrum. Yes, so this is nothing but the electromagnetic spectrum. The entire thing is, the entire diagram is nothing but the electromagnetic spectrum. Now, if you see, this is nothing but the short wavelength and this one is nothing but the long wavelength. Okay, so this is a short wavelength and this one is the long wavelength. And if you see, so the, the, up, the upper side of the line indicates the nanometer that means wavelength. And the lower side of the line is nothing but it indicates the frequency that means frequency, hertz that means frequency. Now, if you see the, in this electromagnetic spectrum, these are all the different sources of EM waves. What are the different sources? Now, we can start with the short wavelength or we can start with the low frequency. Now, let me start with the low frequency to the high frequency. So, low frequency means radio waves, microwaves, infrared, then in between, you have some color like structure, right? That is nothing but the visible light. That is nothing but the visible light. And next one is ultraviolet, next X-rays, next gamma rays. So, I repeat, we are starting from the, we are explaining, I am explaining the electromagnetic spectrum starting from the low frequency to the high frequency. Starting from the low frequency, the radio waves, microwaves, infrared, then visible light, then ultraviolet, then X-rays and gamma rays. So, this is the pattern in the electromagnetic spectrum. So, if you see the radio waves, the frequency is low but the wavelength is long. Whereas if you see the gamma rays, the frequency is very high but the wavelength is very low. Now if you see the visible light, okay, so the range of the visible light is from 4 into 10 power 14 hertz to 7 into 10 power 14 hertz. Okay, so within this range of frequency is nothing but the visible light. Within this range of frequency is nothing but the visible light. So before that or after that, so the waves will not be visible. So once again I repeat, the visible light range of frequency is 4 into 10 power 14 hertz to 7 into 10 power 14 hertz. Yes. Again, the same structure only, that is the electromagnetic spectrum. This is nothing but the electromagnetic spectrum. Covers a continuous range of wavelengths and frequencies from radio waves at low frequency end to gamma rays at the high frequency end. That's all about the sources and effects of EM waves. Thank you.